Hey guys, how are you doing? So it has been some quite quite some time since I've made a video about the Jeep, and uh, I would say this is in rough shape. I, I think you guys would agree. Uh, the main problem is uh, before I start a restoration is the engine. I have to check if it's even salvageable. It is a troublesome starter, and uh, I don't know if it's a bad injector or a bad glow plug or what it is. So I figured measuring the compression would uh, get us a good idea of how the internals are or the health of the engine is. And this is a new battery that I purchased to uh, for specifically for this purpose. You know, we'd be doing a lot of cranking. So before we begin the compression tests on each cylinder. uh we been, we would need to undo all the injector lines from the fuel pump because you wouldn't want uh, diesel injected and compression happening and explosion inside the cylinder yeah i have also undone the uh, lines from the uh, tank to the filters so that no fuel would come would be pumped whatsoever and also this is the fuel injection or the compression tester that i have purchased This cost me around three thousand five hundred rupees, and uh, this comes with a bunch of adapters for your different ports and uh, gauge. I think a heavy duty gauge to measure the thing. So you can either use uh, this is the glow plug that uh, comes in the engine, and you can either thread one of these adapters into the hole, or you can alternatively use the injection port to uh, you know uh, get a probe inside and uh, test the compression that way. So this is the adapter that would uh, that was provided uh, with the kit. So this goes inside the injection port of the diesel, uh, in the place of the diesel nozzle, I would say. So uh, I had to modify it a little bit using my lathe to uh, you know uh, change some dimensions so that it would fit this uh, in the injection port. So this goes in like that, and you would hold it down with the clamp and uh, using the bolts that. came to fasten the injector with so let me show you how things go together uh, in this uh, particular test setup yeah so the adapter along with uh, copper washers to seal the uh, port would go in like so and then come the clamps in, and this was also provided in the kit and then you would bolt this down using the uh, nuts uh, that came with the uh, injector nozzle so in order to have a good seal you must have a copper washer in between the uh, clamping layer and uh, also you would need it centered the adapter centered in the hole uh, you can check the sealing ability or uh, how good a seal it has made uh by uh, spraying some soap water between the gaps and that if it bubbles up then you would know that uh, there is not a good seal yeah yeah, yeah. just pour it around the uh, injector nozzle and you will see bubbles coming up i had good sealing in all the cylinders except the first one first one was a bit troublesome uh, getting a good seal so in case i have not if i have not been clear there are two ways to measure uh, the compression one using the injector nozzle an adapter in place of the injection nozzle or the other way would be in place of a glow plug that's the thing right there so you just remove it and thread one of these adapters inside and that would uh, give you uh, another way to do it uh in my case it, uh, the injector the, there was no th uh, adapter matching the thread holes of the uh, uh, glow plug so i had to improvise with the uh, uh, the injector nozzle uh, method in a modern engine perhaps the uh, uh, heater plug uh, would be more accessible than the injector uh, and uh, both the modern and the old engines uh, have this uh, both these options and either thing works you just have to seal the other one good yeah i mean in a good way so uh, this gauge goes over the quick attach adapter that is present on the adapter uh, that we have uh, uh, bolted on to the injection port yeah so that clamps on like that and now we can crank the engine and we would get a reading of the compression present it also quick uh, quickly detaches 
so right now it is plugged into the first uh, cylinder now clamping the battery terminals together let's see how it goes releasing the pressure for attempt number 2 so we will go through all the cylinders one by one and uh, we will summarize the results so with the magic of editing i have now jumped to cylinder number 4 and this is the second attempt on cylinder number 4 zeroing the gauge so let's go So finally, I've done it for all cylinders and the results are finally here. I did do a couple of attempts on uh, all the four cylinders. So the speculations I found on the internet were uh, 300 to 350 PSI for uh, model B275. This is an international average to B275 as far as I know and the specs are 300 to 350. But as you can see, all the values I've gotten are in the range of uh, 470 to 500 around 450 475 would be a mean value i would say so all these uh, cylinders have uh, a compression which were far better than uh, the spec value which i'm a little bit confused about i couldn't make a sen make sense of it so another thing i did was uh, before uh, testing the compression I also used a couple squirts of oil, uh, I squirted some oil inside the cylinder, you know, in, in order for the whole uh, cylinder to seal better. So uh, that, I think, caused a huge uh, increase in compression. Uh, I should have first tested without uh, this oil method. And actually, in a uh, later, uh, later time, I did test it uh, without oil, squirting oil, and still the compression was the range of 450 uh, 470 psi so so i'm a little bit confused about what i'm measuring and even even if the gauge is calibrated i'm not sure so all these things have uh, added further questions than giving me answers if the engine is good or not so i don't know what to do next just i think uh, a best way would be to remove the head and measure the bore and uh, see if the B275 specs match the, the match the exact thing I'm seeing. Uh, and the next thing I plan on doing is after the head uh, is uh, just you know uh, uh, I think the starter is having a little bit of trouble, uh, and I would uh, pull it out and uh, maybe service it. It sticks a lot, you know. Uh, when I crank it, it spins, and but when I uh, return the key, it the self motor st still uh, keeps on turning so i think it is sticking inside the solenoid is sticking and so i would uh, i would need to rebuild it at some point i guess so these are the works planned it's been uh, <laughs> a couple of months since i made a video and i i'll try to make sure the next video come a little bit earlier yeah so that's it guys bye bye